significant exposure to the United States? Uh, Rahul, look at it this way. You're right. Firstly, uh, the uh, uh, the prognosis on the trends and growth. You're absolutely correct that uh, you're going to see the maximum growth, and we have seen maximum growth coming out of uh, Asia and Middle East, followed by U.S. Europe is somewhat, at this point of time, somewhat dormant in terms of growth. In fact, our growth uh, outside Europe has been as high as 17% uh, over the year. Uh, so, and our, some of our largest accounts have come from Middle East, or uh, winds have come from Middle East and India. So, yes, it will have a, a, a marginal, it will have an impact because 50% of our business still is from Europe. Uh, but we believe that since our growth has been so good in the, uh, in the rest of the world, we will be able to keep our nose above the water and we will see some growth coming as we go forward. Mm. Vineet, I want to go back to the point you were making about the debt on your sheets, debt which you've taken for the leveraged buyout at Satham Computers. You were a debt-free company. You're saying over the next four years you see yourself returning to be a debt-free company. Is it fair to say that the interest burden, which has perturbed analysts significantly this quarter, is going to start going down from the next quarter itself? You're absolutely right because uh, we were paying, we were servicing debt at 3,000 crores or 2,800, 2,900 crores, uh, and some of that debt was at 15 percent. We retired that uh, debt uh, last quarter. Uh, then, with this amount we got, we retired the, uh, uh, completely the debt, and with this debt gone, uh, it's been brought down to about 1,400 crores. Therefore. Mm -hmm. uh, we would have an additional cash accrual on basis of interest saved to the extent of 120 to 130 crores a year, which is not bad to begin with. Uh, but even more importantly, the debt overhang has gone away. So you are looking at a very financially stable and a vigorous company. Sure. Just want to go back to Europe, uh, Vineet. Is there a concern in the company that uh, since 50% of the revenues are from Europe, that sequentially it's possible that top line growth is flat for the next one or two quarters till you actually see some decisive improvement from your clients over there? Because I observe that contribution to revenues from Europe has come down from 61 to 56%. Is that something that you're consciously doing or is it because of BT and the restructuring that they're going through? And that can, even though you're getting good traction beyond Europe, Europe can actually put a cap on how much you can actually grow on the top line. Well, I think this is something which almost every company is facing. Uh, on one hand, it's, it's an interesting paradox. On one hand, most Indian companies' exposure to Europe is limited. So, in terms of market growth, actually you should be seeing much more there. On the other hand, Temporarily, you are facing uh, a sh uh, a sh uh, what appears to be a shrinking market or a stagnant market. Uh, what we as business people have to decide is, should we continue investing in Europe or should we f start focusing now on the rest of the world and US? I think it would be premature at this point of time, especially in the telecom sector, to uh, abandon Europe or to see that, the, hey, this market is more abundant. It's not. Uh, I think there's a lag. And if there is a movement in global economy, Europe cannot be out of it. Europe has to be part of it. It's a huge market. Uh, so what we will do is we'll continue to focus on Europe. I mean, uh, keep on working away to Europe while recognizing that you are going to get slightly more uh, business from uh, or greater potential of business from Middle East, uh, Asia, Australia, New Zealand. So that is where we are working on at this point of time. But we are continuing to go and stay with Europe. We are going to continue to get into markets which traditional Indian companies have not got in because of language difficulties. Mm. Your client list is very different from some of your competitors. What are you picking up in terms of how they're feeling, in terms of the size of contracts that they're willing to offer? Is it more on the lower end, 20 to $50 million, or are they comfortable allotting contracts, 50, 100, 200 million dollar plus? And how are they feeling as far as budgets go? Uh, I think 
you are seeing, uh, I mean, uh, a movement almost across the board from smaller uh, 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 companies requiring uh, uh, telco technologies to the bigger ones. Uh, the bigger ones are in the process of uh, 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 reorganization themselves and that itself creates a huge amount of business but we are also working with some of the smaller companies and I think we are getting a similar kind of traction from both as you know uh, as it happens we work for some of the largest telcos and in big way um, BT, AT&T you name it, Quest uh, we are almost all of them there uh, in there and I think we, as we go forward we will see business growing almost uh, in every aspect of the telecommunication world it's but uh, given the competition I presume there will be greater pressure on uh, rates okay Vineet all the best with your plans going forward thank you so much for taking time out and joining us today uh, Sorry, you want to complete that point? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, the, the, essentially, Rahul, the challenge is in a competitive world, how do you meet with the pressure on prices and yet retain uh, your profit levels? Uh, all of us are doing a lot of uh, searching within ourselves, introspection as to how do we as Indian companies or as Tech Mahindra improve our productivity. And that is the challenge we'll have to face going forward. Thank you Rahul for giving us the opportunity to explain our point of view and on Tech Mahindra. Our pleasure, Vinny. Thanks so much for taking time out. It's been a tough morning as far as the stock price is concerned. Appreciate you taking the time out and trying to clarify what the market reaction to your stock is like. That's Vinny Tanaya speaking exclusively to Bloomberg UTV on the morning where the stock price has reacted. He says that the debt overhang is reducing for the company and that hiring has revived uh, in the third quarter. The pound movement.